Welcome to another episode of High Proof Ashes. I am one of your co-hosts, Jason J.B. Smoke. And of course, over to my right... Mr. Cool, no cool nickname. We're going back to that, right? Yeah, yeah, we're gonna uh, going back to that for a yeah. little while. We're just gonna stay without the nickname, I suppose. That's what it's gonna be. But y'all know what it is. I'm Duran, back in the building, ready to have a couple smokes and a couple drinks. Me too, man. Yeah. Um, so today we're just gonna jump right into it. Today we, um, after looking at the list of things we've done, couldn't believe we hadn't done an old forester yet. Yeah. So that's kind of crazy. You know, we're gonna bring you an old forester, but not just any old 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 forester. Mm -hmm. This is the Old Forester uh, single barrel, um, and I'd have to look at, you know, whose name is on it because I think these usually have a have a place's name of yeah, who like yeah. picked it or whatever. But uh, so there's several, you know, different versions of the single barrel out there, uh, but this particular one is 132 proof. Mm -hmm. So uh, we're jumping right so out the gate. Like that's right, man. Ha have you had anything to drink today? No, have not. Okay, I haven't had anything to drink today. And either. or to smoke. I uh, me neither. So it's clean, dry palate for. Well, yeah. Okay. So, you know, something that we're, we're going to try to do here is is take a sip of it before we actually start the yes, cigar. Because yes. I'm actually, I haven't tried this one before or without a cigar. Me neither. I don't, so, I can't remember if I've had it at all. If we opened it at the lottery, I wouldn't remember it anyway. <laughs> we had a, little, a conversation for another day. That's right. We had uh, some fun. We had fun. <laughs> um, but, so we're uh, smoking today. I think we can both say one of our favorites, right? This, Absolutely. Uh, one of my favorites god of fire yes carlito uh 2018 you know so i mean great cigar if you're a cigar person you've, you've definitely heard of these um if you haven't i'm sorry go find you one uh well good luck finding this one specifically it might it might take a little work uh but phenomenal cigar um, yeah and you know it it the the name um is is interesting it's a it's a collaboration with Fuente. Um, Prometheus and Fuente. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And so Fuente, I mean, uh, Prometheus owns the God of Fire name, but, mm -hmm. but Fuente, Fuente makes the makes cigar. The cigar. Yes. That's right. And, and then in return, Prometheus makes all of Fuente's accessories. Correct. You know, so all those Opus lighters yep. and ashtrays and, uh, you know, humidors and whatever, right. Cups, like all that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. Prometheus actually makes those. Yep. Um, and you know, I just remembered. I actually have a God of Fire lighter and cutter. And, I I remember now. Yeah, I, I forgot. I forgot. Um, so, you know, I, I could make a really awkward shot and go grab those because uh, they're they're behind the camera. But um, <laughs> I'll I'll have to um, just get some pictures of them or something and, uh, and just put them up. We'll, we'll get a, We'll grab a short or something like that. Yeah, it, you know, yeah. You would. You good. wouldn't be able to see it this far away anyway. So I'd have to zoom in for you guys anyway. Yeah. So they were. They were gorgeous. They were twentieth anniversary. Uh, I remember. I remember seeing them. You know, quite nice. Yeah. Surprised that you don't use them. Very rare. It's very rare that I use them. Um, I mean, there's you know, there's real real gold filigree on it. Mm -hmm. They stay in the clamshell that they were that they came in. All right. That's a that's a good. Let's see, a little, just a little more since we're only going to do one bottle on this episode. Here we go. Yeah, I'm kind of, I'm really interested to see how this tastes. Clean palate. So, I, the thing I can tell you right off the bat that's beautiful is I don't smell the proof. Really? Not really. Don't smell the proof. No. I mean, it's got a, a, a pleasant aroma. It does. You know, you can smell the, the corn and the, the barrel age on it. and it Smells like super, you know. I mean, just everything you would expect to smell from a, just a really good bourbon. Yeah, you know. Like, you know. All right, well, let's I'm gonna do my first taste test here. Ooh, that'll wake it up. Uh, yeah. Oh, wow. Well, we didn't warm up at all. No. Um, <laughs> as you can tell. <laughs> that, uh. is, that is an assault to the palate. 
I almost feel like I need that burn to kind of settle I a little bit. I need water. Like, I almost feel then, like I need water. And then go ahead and take another sip before we yeah. start the cigar, because, whoa. It, 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 it shocked the palate. Like, <laughs> like the first... Nice to see you. <laughs> right. The first thing I got was the drying effect on the sides yeah. from the tannins. And then I got the sweetness. Yes. And then I got the burn. Just and the burn the was at the very end. Yeah. It was at the very, it was like, oh, that's tasty. Ooh. Uh, I don't know like if I, I can, still want this here. I can, I can feel it moving down right now. I can feel it moving down. Like it's so. Whose weird. idea was it to start at 135 proof? I mean, yeah. So that was the other one we were talking about starting with. Was, 132 was a 135. Yeah. yeah. So. Um, oh my god. But we wanted to do something kind of nice and and unique. Yeah. Um, to, to go, go with with, with this fight. really really nice cigar. Um, so this is probably the nicest most expensive cigar we've done to date i think so probably probably i mean because uh, most of the other stuff we've done is less than twenty dollars this is over twenty dollars right like the only thing i can think of that's close is a diamond crown and you know depending on the size yeah you can get around 22 well and that's what they go for now but that's not what i bought them for right like and i bought them for retail so i mean back then not much on the the aroma of the stick itself. No, but you, you get a faint tobacco, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, we we did something recently where I couldn't even smell the tobacco. I don't, I don't remember which stick that was, but um, it was the um. Oh my god, was it the butcher, the Benny the butcher stick? That's not the one you're you're remembering though. The one we did the most recently because we did the Murcielago, but that one we could smell. It was the other one. Um. Oh my goodness, I'm drawing a complete blank. You and me both. The oh, it was the Alma Fuerte. Yes. Okay. Like it was surprising that you couldn't couldn't smell, smell anything. Anything. Yeah. Yeah. On the outside. But phenomenal, floor. phenomenal okay. smoke. Right. Do it again. Yes. The 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 palate has calmed down. It's the, the burn's gone. I'm getting, I'm getting a little more on the aroma this time. Now that heat is just on the back. It's it's much better this time around. It is. It actually came out of my nose as well as I was breathing. Some of the some of the aromas. That's interesting. I don't I don't know what I'm tasting. I wonder. Does it tell me the age on here? It tells me the warehouse and the floor. It was first floor. I actually don't know the age of this, and it doesn't say it is, what it is. It it, it tastes aged though. Mm -hmm. Like I'm, it's it's kind of oaky. It's really refined. Yeah. The 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 high ethanol, while it's there, doesn't just. It's not like that's all you taste. No, not at all. It's pleasant. Um, so question. Do you want to light this with a match instead of a butane? torch lighter i don't really care you know for me personally i don't care but i mean we could do it just for, for shits and giggles we could do it um sure why not it's been a little while since i lit with a match too i'll grab an extra one just because i feel like one of us or both of us are gonna fall short on our light because this is a fairly large ring gauge yeah so if you notice, I've I've done couple a couple of cuts here, um, just because uh, I forgot my one of my cutters at home, so I'm using yeah. a cutter with a back. Yeah. Uh, Same so here. because of that, I have to do a couple of cuts to get down to where I want to actually be on the cigar. Yeah, this particular shape, um, I don't remember the name of this particular shape, but it's it's got this kind of sort of perfecto head. Yeah. And and foot, the the, the cigar itself is not a perfecto, but the, the ends kind of are, so. All right. Let's see those matches, man. You want to go first? No, you go for it. Okay. It's got a good flame on it, though. The camera says you got a good light. There we go. 
Looks like he's done that before. Uh, a few times, yeah. <laughs> he probably practiced before I got here on mm -hmm. purpose. Or no. I feel like I'm trying to make you look bad. <laughs> I didn't I didn't get an even light, but it is lit. It'll it'll correct itself, it'll be fine. Let's see what you got. Make sure you kinda of angle the match to where it, you know it can burn. Looking yeah. pretty good there, fella. Yeah, you did good. So, you know, getting into what we just did here, this is just, you know, some people like to light with a soft flame, you know, a natural flame. You can do that with a match or you can do it with a just a little piece of little wood spliff that sometimes comes in the in your boxes. That's where I was going to ask you if you had a wood splint. Right? Yeah, but there's, there's some right there, oh, actually. Okay. I would have done that. Yeah. So those aren't like made specifically for that. It's better to, if you're going to want to, if you do that, it's better to buy the ones that are actually made for that. I mean, a match is made to do what we just did. Yes. Um, and they, that, they burn longer. Yeah. Like the wood, is, the, like the design is, is So made. this actually has a thicker coating on it for mm -hmm. it to be a bigger flame right. for you to light cigars exactly. off of. Um, and that, that little box right there came in my, uh, my little Provada cigar pack. Uh, one time they sent those and. They're pretty cool. They're like multicolored. Um, each the the head of each pretty cool. uh, match was a different color. So it's cool. It was, yeah, it's really neat. I I'm thought sure it was the, pretty neat. The head of the match. Yeah, each, oh, that's cool. Each one of them is like a you know. I'm sure there's repeats, but there's probably eight or so different colors in yeah, there. Yeah, definitely pretty colors. cool. Um, but anyway, the cigar um, is man, just, let's, yeah. yeah. Let's talk about the cigar real quick. It, it, I mean, we're definitely gonna come back to it, but yeah, it's it's it's, it. just, it's it's amazing. I mean, from the first light. Like it's, it's so refined, flavor. it's so smooth. Yeah, it's full of flavor. Like strong enough to match up. You know, it, it's yeah, yeah, it, and it's not overly strong. Mm -mm. It's like, really I think it's a medium cigar, like a medium body cigar. Right, but the flavors aren't overpowering mm -hmm. either. Like it's super balanced. You know what I mean? Like. It's so balanced that, like, it feels elegant. I haven't I haven't smoked one of these in quite some time. Okay, it's been a while. It's probably been six eight months. Wow. Um. So when I seen it in my humidor today, I was like, uh, I'm gonna pack this, take it, see if I can't convince Jason to smoke one. It didn't take very much convincing. I uh, know. It said, Hey, think... we haven't done a God of Fires like. Okay. <laughs> like, I don't think you said anything, but like, <laughs> yeah, let's do it. Like, you don't have to shake my, you don't have to pull my arm. Um, and, and I think I gave that to you for your birthday. My birthday. Yeah. That was your birthday stick. Yeah. 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 So, you know, that, that and a bottle of bourbon. Yeah. So nice. But, uh, I guess let's, let's get into a little bit of the, the kind of the nuances of the, the stick itself. Um, so like we said, Fuente makes the cigar. Mm hmm. And this particular one is the um, is the 2018, and the year on a God of Fire is the year that it was made, mm -hmm. not the year that you bought it, right? Or that it was available to market. That's three years later. Correct. So this would have came to market in 21. Mm -hmm. I bought it in 22, mm -hmm. and this is like you know the end of 22, and here we are in the like first quarter of 24. 24. So this this cigar itself is truthfully it's. It's seven six, and a half years seven old. Years old at yeah, this point. like yeah. seven and a half years old, or yeah. six and a half years old, whatever. Yep. Like it's it's, yeah. So I mean, between Fuente aging it, mm -hmm. and then the, how long they the retailer been aged it, yeah, and then I've aged it. Uh, so it, it's which is why it probably it, realistically it probably tastes so great right now because it it's you know it's, it's mellowed little, out. Yeah. Like any kind of spikes in the flavor wheel are just gone. If there were any, <laughs> I know I'm gonna get some flack for this, but you know, just recently I revisited a, a opus that mm -hmm. I hadn't had in a while, and uh, it just seems so mellow on my palate. I just how, so it's been a minute since I've done an opus, but how did it compare? How does it compare to this? this? Is by far much better. You know, the oomph on this cigar, right? Like the strength on this versus the Opus, mm -hmm. like gives me everything I want. I'm not saying the Opus was bad, it was just really light on the palate. 
Um, the things I love most about the Opus is, you know, like that peppery. Yeah. And and I didn't get it. Really? Like, it just, and, and I don't know if my palate has just, you know, evolved at this point. Because um, I could still smell it in the air, right? And I, right. I could faintly taste it. Yeah. But it just was not the same. Yeah. I mean, um, now, now that I think about it, I, I did have an Opus on my birthday. And it was one out of the, the, the uh, what do you call it, that Opus 6 pack mm -hmm. or whatever one that comes in that special box or whatever the lacquered box mm -hmm. and it was it was really good but i just i don't know man for the for the price and the difficulty of getting the cigar mm -hmm. like i don't i don't know like i'm kind of with you like if i'm being honest i i think i would just prefer to have an añejo yeah or that, a don and, carlos that, and that's what i said it was just like that um i think I think for me, like, I forgot that it wasn't the strongest cigar, right? Like, so, um, but it tasted even lighter now that I hadn't had one in a few months, right? Mm -hmm. um, so I think it's one of those things, like, if I was to do it again, I would need to, I would need to uh, have it as the first stick of the night for sure. Right. And I warmed up with something else that day. I don't remember what, but it was, you know. But See, this, this, I think this could match up to anything, like. Yeah. Yeah, this is a little bit stronger, a little bit more flavor, you know, and, and then the God of Fire, this is the Carlito, but it also, there's also a Siri B mm -hmm. and a Don you know, Carlos and a, and a Masario. No, there's not a Don Carlos. It's there's, a, there's one called a, what is it? There, it's just the Siri B and the Anna Masario. Why did I think two. there was a Don Carlos in this? So there is some like special Don Carlos that come in special boxes, but those are still Fuentes. Like. I don't think there's a Don Carlos God of Fire. Are, we, are you 100% sure? I'm not 100% sure. <laughs> Quick Google search here. I may be incorrect. Yeah, God of Fire Don Carlos. I, 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 there I'm, is a Don I'm Carlos. sure I've had one. Like, okay, that's wow. I was, I was pretty positive of it. I was like, wait a minute, man. So I wonder... Because the Carlito's my favorite. Yes. The Don, Carl Don Carlos was my second favorite. Okay. And then the, the Series B. Because the Series uh, Series B has a black band. Yes. So there are three red ones. There are three red bands. Right. That's right. There's the Carlito, the Don Carlos, and the um, Anniversario, right? Yes. So those are the three red bands, and then the Series B is black. That's right. So. Yes. And this one, I guess, is, is named after, um, and it's a shame that I don't know which one because there's more than one Carlito but I'm, I'm assuming that this is senior but I'm actually not I, sure. I, now we're getting deep right like, I don't know um, but like I don't know it, it's a great looking cigar mm -hmm. it, it's a great tasting cigar uh, this is one of those celebration level cigars yeah you know yeah. special occasion type cigars um, and and really any of them are, are great it's just that We've been able to try them all, and then the Carlito is our favorite. Yeah. Um, but, man, get, get into this band. Dude, like, there's so much, right? Like, so first and foremost, right, like, it being called the God of Fire, right? So, like, there's, there's like, a god on the band itself. Like, and this thing just looks like it's a royal cigar, or it, or, um, it, it was made for, like, a deity. Like, <laughs> to be completely honest, it's, it's red, gold, you know, uh, and, and then again... Uh, it, it's a double band, so you've got the Carlito band as well with the year on it, so it tells you what year um, that it was produced, um, which one that it is, it, but I'm, it's just beautiful, man. Like it, Prometheus and, and Fuente outdid themselves on this, and I don't know who's resp responsible for the band itself, but either way, it's just beautiful. If you see this cigar and you see this band, it's going to make you want to smoke it, period. Well, and then the box is... It's even more beautiful. Like it's a lacquered yeah. red... Absolutely, with, with gold filigree foil, mm -hmm. whatever you want to call it, all and if over. If I'm not it. mistaken, like the big emblem is in the yeah. back of the box. The, it is the emblem that is on the front of the cigar, mm -hmm. which you know Jason will pop it up on the screen for you to actually yeah. take a look at the band. Um, but it, it's an absolutely stunning band for real. Yeah, it, it it's all around like overly done. Yeah, right. Yeah, it, it so they they took their time on it. For the um, price of this cigar, this is the band that should be on it. Absolutely, and right. the box. Yeah, like like. It, it, just being real, these are expensive cigars. On average, you're gonna they're gonna cost more than thirty bucks. Um, you know, 
So for a cigar like this, it, it everything about it should be over the top. Yeah. The flavor should be over the top. The construction should be over the top. Absolutely. The combustion should be over the top. And the band should definitely make you look at it. And they did a great job on this. Like I had a canoe on the initial light and that was my fault. And it, it's corrected itself with no problems. I mean, you I mean, look so, at mine like I... Yeah. It's just... It, the smoke production is, is great. Like, you know... And this is one of the larger sizes. Mm -hmm. I, I want to say that this is like the, the double Robusto or something like yeah. that. Um, but, you know, so they make they make smaller Vitolas that you can get a little bit cheaper. Um, and, and you're not wrong. I think even at box rates, they run you like 270 for the box of 10. Yeah, so you're going to be, you know, you know so $27 a stick. Yeah, you're not That's saving. That's buying it wholesale, right, at a yeah, box price. That's right. Um, and I so you're not saving much. For one... You're you're definitely going to see this cigar at thirty bucks, probably more like thirty two, to be completely honest with you. Yeah, especially this size. This is one of yeah. the bigger sizes. Yeah. Um, the, the the good thing is that you know if you do like it and and you do see a box or you know you're able to find one online or whatever, it's only ten in the box. Mm -hmm. so, you know you're not having to drop, you know, twenty cigars worth or twenty four yeah, cigars yeah. worth of you know, of of, of that's singles pricing, because it's it's pretty pretty close to singles pricing. Um, you know, and the thing about Fuente is like this, this level of Fuente is really hard to get because there's only a select number of retailers that get these, Yes, you know, so you've got to be a top notch yeah. Fuente retailer for and, this to even be close. And then they're like, they're able to charge whatever they want. Yes. And so that's why you yeah. see them at those kind of prices because, and they know they're going to sell. Yeah. Like that somebody's going to, you know, I mean. I've been places where I've seen them more expensive than that. You know, I've seen them at 40, 50 bucks. And they're um, selling. And they're selling. You know, it's, it's only a few in the box. Um, so, and they're selling so quickly that nine times out of 10, there's a limit on them. That's right. right? Oh, yeah. Um, we didn't even get into that. We didn't even talk about the fact that realistically, if you walk into a store and they have them, they're probably going to limit you to one or two. That's right. Um, you're not going to be able to buy, you know, a whole box of them unless you go outside of a, a brick and mortar or you get a brick and mortar that, like, just, has a ton of them, right? Yeah. Um, yeah, so I got this from a brick and mortar, and they had been sitting on them for a year. Mm -hmm. And this was, I think they had two complete boxes and one open box, if I remember correctly. And So we, was it just a lounge or a, a shop that doesn't have this type of clientele, so it just sat? No, it was a humidor. I mean, uh, it was, uh, oh my God, vintage. Oh, okay. That's different. Vintage, like, always got stuff yeah. laying around. but. But normally they have a limit. Yeah. And yeah. when we, the time of year that we went was the end of the year. And that's a great they time. They need to clear out. They need to clear out inventory. Yeah. So like if, if that's something you don't know, um, the best time to buy cigars at the end of the year from a, from a brick and mortar shop, because most of them are trying to offload inventory mm -hmm. before the end of the year. So they don't have to pay taxes on it, you know, whatever. Um, so when we went, it was no limit on anything. And so. Yeah. We, and, we bought a box of sharks. We bought, yes, we did. We bought some God of Fires. Uh, I know there were several Padrones purchased. Like, uh, I mean, it, we, we racked up that day. Mm -hmm. We racked up that day. We probably need to put that trip back on the map. So we do. Right? It's warm enough. We do. It was, it was a great time. <clears throat> it, was a, it was a really great time. They had some pretty rare bottles, too, you know, for us to get some pours from. Mm-hmm. Um, all around good time. Look at that cigar, man! Like, watch when like, the, the smoke. I love the smoke coming out of the head. Like, yeah, that's, man. that's great, man. That's a that's a really great sign because I mean that means the smoke's coming completely through the cigar mm -hmm. without you having to draw it. Yeah. It's not hurting the cigar. Absolutely. You know, you know I so. mean, and, and the ash on this thing is like perfect. Like, yeah. I mean, it is so compacted. You know, it, it's neat. It. it yeah, I, I just ashed mine because I don't want to ash myself on myself. <laughs> you know, this is one I probably wouldn't mind ashing on myself. Just because it's, I don't know, it's one of those, like, kind of pinky up cigars, right? Nah, I feel you're, like you're trying to say it's a sophisticated cigar. It is. I feel like okay, it is, man. Okay. You know, I feel like you would be, like, pinky up the whole time, you know? Like, <laughs> no, I, can't, I can't do that. <laughs> did you revisit the old Forester? Oh. I just had a sip. You know, not since we lit the cigar. Yeah, we, like, like when well, you got so time. engaged in the cigar, right? Like... See, 
now I'm getting like, and it's funny now that we've had a smoke and a couple of, you know, the drinks so beforehand. Your, like, your palate is going to be changed, right? Because of the cigar. So yeah, but the nose is again. different. The it nose was, is different. The nose is different, but the heat was back. Was it? Yeah. Because it's just been a while or something? Like yeah. it's been a minute since you had a sip? Like I'm getting baking spices. That So, okay. That's what I was thinking, right? Like Yeah. I'm totally getting baking spices. Yeah, I don't know that that heat can ever go away. No, it was so on the second sip, after you know we had the initial, mm -hmm. it, it wasn't close to what it was. Yeah, but then I had the cigar, and you know I guess it reengaged the palate. So that time when I drank it at just now, I was like, well, there, it's back full blown like it was the first sip. So I'll say I agree that it kind of hit full blown again, but it didn't it didn't linger nearly as long. No, it, like that ethanol hit was like yeah. came and gone. Yeah, you know what I mean, like. And then the, it's interesting when you get to this level of, of heat, it the ethanol tends to come out of your nose mm -hmm. like while you you're, breathe it while like you yeah you, you kind of breathe it it's weird, um, but man, the the flavor on it is it's, it's just, very good man. it's just incredible. Uh, I, I'll I'll say this when it, when you get to this high of a proof you, you tend to take smaller sips yes absolutely and that really lets you chew on it mm -hmm. you know. Or the the aftertaste on it is it's a is great really nice. color right like phenomenal color i mean it, it makes me feel like this has been aged quite a bit like the, the how well refined it is yeah i'm gonna have to look it up um you know i want to say like I'm, I'm getting a slight hint of like some some caramel or I don't know what that is i get on the nose like i do get the baking spices but you know there's there's something else back there that i, I really don't know what it is just a really nice pour i mean and, and i like old forester at, at least the the 100 version and then some of those year mm -hmm. versions that they have are really nice um oh you know old forester is one of the oldest in the country right i mean so um if you don't like the buff traces or the four roses or the makers out there, you know, or Turkey, you know, you can try old Forrester and it's, it's a really good pour and it's really cheap. Um, so looking at the cigar, the, here's a testament to how great the cigar is, right? Everybody knows I'm a fast smoker. Mm -hmm. Not burning fast. Really. It's not burning fast for me. No. Like, and, and I smoke like the, the way I smoke a cigar, like, you know, it's just, it's well made, man. Like I'm telling, if you have not experienced one of these, you should try it. Yeah, you should try them all. Actually, you know, again, do what your budget can afford, but you won't be disappointed in this cigar. I've Absolutely. never met a person who had one that didn't enjoy it. Yeah, and I mean, I think you'd enjoy any of them. Yes, you might like more one more than more the other. More than the other, absolutely. But you know, you would probably never turn any of them down. No, absolutely not. <laughs> you know, I mean, it's when like... we went to the barn smoker, like I, I popped out the crib. You know, oh, that's right. You did start with a God of Fire. Yeah, I started with Series B. Yeah, yeah, that's right. You jumped that's right, right out and was like, yo, you like, that's what you're going to smoke? I was like, absolutely. That's like, what you're going to start with. Nine o'clock in the morning? Yes, sir. Let's go. <laughs> yeah. Let's go. Ain't no better way to do it. I like, mean, you know, you set yourself up for the whole day. <laughs> uh, you probably didn't smoke anything that good the rest of the day. No, not at all. Not at all. But so the problem being, had I smoked as many as I smoked that day, I wouldn't have wanted to finish with a God of Fire. No, of course not. Right? So that's why I jumped out the gate on on the big boy. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, like we talked about this before, you know, if you, if you have those like nights where you're thinking, okay, I'm probably going to smoke two or three and, and you've got that really nice cigar. Mm -hmm. Where do you smoke it? So um, it depends on what you're like, what you're, so if you're going to do two or three in a day or, or in a night, right? Like I normally, normally I would start out with something light on the palate, mm -hmm. right? I, I would, I would prime my palate with a cigar. Because I could come behind with this and, and not ruin the experience because it's strong enough. So the problem I had with the Opus the other day, though, was I smoked something that was it was medium body. And it the Opus didn't, like, take it up a level. It didn't take it up a level. Yeah. Right? So the, the flavor of the Opus is always phenomenal, but the strength behind it just wasn't enough to outdo what I had before. And I want to say 
I started with a lot 23 maybe. Okay. Yeah, you so know. not a not a strong cigar. Not a strong cigar, but it's still a very good cigar for the money. Um, right. You know, just this is by far much better for me. So I'm not a like a Fuente, you know, expert or whatever. I don't know a whole lot about the history. I'm not one of those guys that, you know, there's a huge chunk of my memory devoted to Fuente. Right. But the the original Opus, you know, came out in I, I want to say it was the late '90s, you know, like '98 or something like that, right? Okay. And, and I could be off a couple of years, whatever, you know. But I I feel like, and again, I can't, I don't know this for sure, mm -hmm. right? So this is just strictly my observation. But smoking Opus, and I didn't smoke one from the '90s, but smoking, you know, Opuses over the years, I feel like when when Opus came out, it was the cigar. To be yes right it was it was the pinnacle it was the the thing that all cigar manufacturers wanted to be right okay that's what they they were striving for that was the level of perfection that the opus was at the that's time. right and i feel like opus has stayed basically what it was it has no 25 years ago it has no evolved, and it hasn't really evolved but the rest of the cigar industry has correct everybody else is caught up at this point like so fuente you know uh, it's one of those manufacturers that they they were known for having like really aged, you know, great cigars, right? Um, but now everybody is getting to that point, right? Because it's only so long you can age one, right? Like yeah, before you know, so, there's no return on investment, right? So yeah. like you know, Drew Estate is, is they've got their legal line, right? Yeah. Um, which is top notch stuff, aged pretty well, right? Um, yep. And then you you look at the other manufacturers that are coming around, like the the Amazon Basin, right? Like yeah. We talk about it a lot. It's aged because it only comes out every few years. Or the, the extra and Yeho one only comes out every few years, That's right? right? Yeah. Um, the, the regular Amazon base, and I'm not sure if it's aged or not. Uh, Probably like a year. A year or two, yeah, something, something like that, yeah, right? something like that. Um, but so, you know, I think everybody is, is, is getting caught up in the industry, and you're just finding that, uh, one, the beautiful thing about it is, is you no longer have to pay as much for a great cigar. Yes. Right. Um, I Absolutely. think that's one of the benefits of everybody else catching up is that you just don't have to pay as much for a great cigar. Now, me, I'm uh, all day long. I'm in on a God of Fire, right? Like, I still think yeah. there's a level to it that's just better than other things. Um, same thing with like a, a Padron uh, 80th. You know what I'm saying? Like that. Yeah, that for me is good. a phenomenal cigar. Um, it's all worth those the 30 anniversary bucks. ones. Yeah. Like honestly. All, yeah. the anniversary all of the anniversary drums, joints, right? 35, like, 40, yeah. you know, 50. I, yeah. think, I mean, there's an 80, a 90. Like, yes. it, it, they're all great. So you know, the 80th is just the one that I always go to. Right? Sure. Like, that's one of my favorites. Um, and what's that run, like 35 or 30? 35 bucks. Yeah. And so I think it's what. Now, it's not a cigar that I smoke daily, right? Mm -hmm. Like, that's a, it, like we said, celebration cigar. I'm only going to smoke that when I'm celebrating something. Um, you know, uh, otherwise, I try to keep that price point below 20 most times. Um, but. Yeah. This is this is a cigar that man like if you can afford to pick it up, you absolutely should. I, it just it's it's that good. Yeah. So I just there's been 25 years of experimentation from other manufacturers, right? They've been able to hybridize plants. They've mm -hmm. been able to, you know, try out different combinations right. and different ages and just all kinds of different combinations, you know. And then they they find something that works and they put it out on the market and and they keep going, right? They keep innovating and they keep evolving. Right. Fuente with Opus, I feel, hasn't really done that. And that's not knocking it, it's just being real. Yeah. Like and so But and and so that's not a problem either, right? Like, it's not a problem. Um it's not a problem. But I think that there's people out there that are still in the you know, the 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 late 90s early aughts mm -hmm. where it's opus is the absolute best cigar that there ever will be and it, it, it may know, be today. for certain palettes right right like, if you don't smoke the level of strength that we do mm -hmm. and it, i'll say this as well if you are a straight cigar person right like you you don't mix with any type of spirit opus is probably up there right like if you're, you're smoking opus on a regular basis on a you know mostly clean palette it's going to be a pretty good cigar Absolutely. Um, you know, when you start pairing it with stronger bourbons, stronger whiskeys, uh, you know, other things out there, that's going to draw away from the taste of just the cigar. Yeah. You know, it's a different experience. So I need something a little bit stronger. And unfortunately, the Opus just didn't get there for me right. that night. Um, and see, like, we're, what, 
just about finished with the first third. Yeah. And I'm I, I can I can feel the cigar start starting to strengthen. Yes. And evolve. Yes, you know what absolutely. I mean? Absolutely. And and I feel like the opus doesn't really do that. And so like make no mistake, I'm not knocking on the opus. It's just a comparison. Right. You know, I still smoke opus. I love opus. Mm -hmm. Um and you know, but it, it has to be like kind of right for the occasion, yeah. I guess. Mm -hmm. And 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 again, you know, there's a there is rarity, there is cost. I mean, we we recently had had someone in the group find them for twenty dollars, yeah. And that was a boy, that was a huge surprise. That was crazy. You like know, buy so, all of them. Yeah, like yeah, exactly. We told buy them, them just, just buy the whole box, right? We got you. And so you know, I think we did a bunch of you know twosies. Everybody got two. You know, but, and crazy enough, like you know, just <laughs> the culture that we're in, right? We we went to a, a tasting at a friend's house, um, hmm. and one of the guys that was there, you know, he's a cigar guy, and he was like, "I've never had an opus." I said, "Really?" He's like. Like all these years, you 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 know, I was like, you've been smoking a couple of years now. He's like, yeah, I just I've never had one, so I just pulled it out my box. I'm like, here, right. and, and he was like, you sure? And I was like, yeah, man. Like we we enjoyed all of these phenomenal pours together. Right. Tonight. The last thing, you know. But I mean, you know, so we're talking about a guy that lives in the Chattanooga area, mm -hmm. and we don't have anyone here that sells Fuente. Not really. Like they they sell the lower end stuff. I mean, there's but, there's one specific spot that gets them on a regular. On the regular. What, you, you Whenever just, Opus drops, they gonna get them. Okay. You know, but like, but you got you kind of have to be there when they drop, or you won't get any. You won't get any, right? They'll and be then, gone before you get there. Yeah, right. And and once that lot that they got is gone, it's gone, right? So when you're saying that a, the, someone that started smoking, you know, two, three, five years ago hasn't had an Opus, like that's not that surprising, you know, just because of you know. And I feel like they're even more rare today than they were say five years ago yeah because i think those that know pick them up whenever they see them yeah especially if it's at a good price like people you think people are kind of buying in bulk yeah i know? mean you know so whenever they can if you walked into a store and you seen a box full of opus for 22 dollars i'd buy the box i'm probably yeah. gonna buy it i'm gonna buy the box and and this is why most shops put, lim put yeah, limits because on the boxes. So, but the reason i'm gonna buy the box is not because i'm gonna hog them it's because i know everybody in my group would like to have some yeah. right so I'll just buy the box and I'll come to the group and say, "Hey, I've got them. You know, come see me. You know, and you know, we'll we'll barter or whatever it might be. You know." Yeah, and the reason they put the limits on it is to just kind of spread the wealth. You know, mm -hmm. they don't want one person to get the whole thing, yeah. right? They'd rather ten people get one cigar piece um, and just kind of. And it drums up more business, right? And, you know, yeah, it keeps in. the demand, right? And it, and it gets yeah. you into the store where you might buy something else, right? That's right. And so if you can only yeah. buy one of these, but you're already here, I might as well get something else, right? That's like, right. Um, it's, it's and you'll right. come back. Like if you know that, oh, I can get a God of Fire here, mm -hmm. I'm going to come back because I might be able to get another one. Yeah, for sure. You know, so for sure. That, that's why they do it. And I, and I get it. You know, So sometimes you walk in there and you're, you, know, you see them for $20 and you're like, oh, I want the box. No, it's limited too. You know, you might get a little butthurt about that, but understand there's a reason for it, you know, and it's to it, it's to kind of spread to the rest of the community and, and kind of share, not share, but give the give the rest of the community an opportunity to get it. Yeah. yeah. Um, so, man. That that bourbon is a great. It is. It's a, a phenomenal. Pour. Pour. And, and it's one that. It packs so much flavor and, mm -hmm. and, and so much punch to it that like. You don't have to revisit the taste very often. No, I mean, like I think that lingers. Yeah, it lingers, it lingers. You know, and you don't feel the need to go back. Well, we are past time. Oh wow! But okay. We're, you know, we're smoking and drinking something very good. So you know, we wanted to give you the full experience of, of our thoughts and all that good stuff. Um, but since you're here, you know, like, comment, subscribe, hit that little bell uh, so that you get notifications when we drop new content. Um, you know. You want to give your final thoughts, man? I mean, I, I think we've been giving our final thoughts the For whole a while, time. Right? Like, yeah. Right? Like, like, so, Phenomenal Cigar, uh, you know, any God of Fire is great. Uh, this particular one happens to be my favorite. Um, and then they also come in several Vitolas. Um, cool thing about these is they actually come with a certificate of authenticity. Mm -hmm. So, uh, but the bourbon... Uh, if you can get one of these, they're typically allocated or they're in a lottery yeah. or, you know, whatever. Um, sometimes you can get lucky, you know, and they, they, they put it on the shelf, uh, but then, you know, they, they go pretty quick because 
full forest or single barrels. They're hard or, to come by. They're, they're sought after. Yeah. People want them. Yeah. Um, but it's a great pour. What you got? Man, like, I um, can't remember if I've had it before, right? Um, but I'm still very impressed with it. Uh, Old Forester, funny enough, I don't have any in my collection. That's the only one I have. Um, I think I'm going to make a, a, a conscious effort to pick up a few because I've, I've found that they're great bottles, right? Um, if you can get the right ones, uh, I know the standard fare is, is the standard fare, uh, you know. But some of the nicer ones are, are really enjoyable. Um, as far as the cigar goes, dude, I, I don't think I can say any more about how happy I am to be smoking this and how much of a phenomenal cigar it is. Um, I don't really have anything else, man. Like, it, it, it's just a great stick. <laughs> I, you know, pretty good. It's a feel-good cigar. Yeah, yeah. It really is. Yeah. Nice to have on a nice uh, day, you know, and enjoy it with, with your partner. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely. So, y'all know what it is, man. I guess we're going to wrap this thing up, you know. Uh, I am Duran, no cool nickname, you know, put some smoke in the air, and to my left. I'm Jason J.B. Smoke, and uh, we'll see you on the next one. Yes, sir.